Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. And all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aries. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Let's start with love here. What are the love messages for Aries, okay? Okay, I just heard some of you aren't that concerned with love, okay? Um, you've got a lot on your plate. Um, some of you could be communicating with someone. Um, let's see, what's going on for love? control yeah it's like you're trying to control yourself hold yourself back maybe there might even be some repression here some sexual repression uh like maybe you're just reframing from sex you're just not engaging right now for whatever reason uh you don't have anyone it could be by choice um it's also an opportunity for you to maybe clear your head clear your head space control in terms of love here so it's definitely um karma okay so some of you could be holding yourself back from some karmic relationship that didn't go well all right someone that you were dating it didn't go well uh you didn't get what you wanted from this situation here um it was a lot of dates some of you may be going on the first date with someone you it, you met this person and it was it could have been all about sex and it also was something for you to learn here you know something for you to learn in terms of dating um date with purpose date with intention if the person doesn't want what you want you know immediately get out of it because if you don't you're gonna have to unravel yourself down the line right um you, ugh, can't make this stuff up spiritual growth can even talk about adversity things that don't work out for you things that are contrary to what it is you want in your life they come into your life to show you you know um to teach you a lesson a lesson in spiritual growth typically we grow in anything or we grow from something um when we learn something when there's adversity when there is something in direct conflict so we have to figure a way of getting out of it therefore we have learned from so spiritual growth has happened in terms of Maybe some karmic situation where it was kind of sex only. It was friends with benefits. It was a lot of dates. It was a lot of this person maybe taking you out and spending money on you or spending time with you or wine and whining and dining you. Um, but it was, this came into your life to offer you spiritual growth here. Um, some of you could be holding back from someone because um, you want them to date you more or you want them to date you, you want more romance in a connection, in a relationship. You also could have grown or outgrown your person. Maybe you met this person when you were younger, you outgrown them, and now it, it, it's time to move on. What is the future energy for Aries in love? What is the... Okay, great fortune. Very nice. So... You're fortunate. You're going to get what you want. Great fortune is ahead. Um, a great foretelling of maybe a relationship. Some of you, you know, if you see something through, you will get what it is you're looking for in terms of an outcome. Some of you, this relationship is a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work to turn it around. Are you up for it? You, you, you know, only you can answer that question. For some of you, you're, you've, you're going to be meeting people and you're dating or you're on the dating scene and you feel like it's a lot of work, a lot of effort, you know, putting yourself out there. But do keep in mind, you're going to meet someone who will bring uh, true happiness to you. What Whatever it is you're looking for, whatever happiness is for you. What is great fortune? Okay. Uh, the Knight of Swords. So you can meet someone new. They may be a bit of a commitment phobe in the beginning. 
you have to determine to walk away from some, be determined to walk away from something that is not serving you, something that maybe you have outgrown. Um, if you were okay with friends with benefits type of situations in your past, and now you say you're over it, then the universe wants you to really display that act, that um, that mindset in action. Move past all of this hurt from this previous relationship. Make sense of it all. Make sense of moving on. It's just the more rational thing to do. You may even be moving on in shame. You didn't get what you wanted. You put so much time, energy, effort into it. You didn't win, but that is okay. Look over this and make sure that this is not what you want. That's all the judgment card is. It's looking back at the previous 19 major arcanas and saying, you know, you're looking back at the, the wins, the losses, the success, the trials, the tribulations, the failure, and you're determining, do you want to stay here? Is it comfortable in this place or do you want newness? Do you want to close out this cycle, which would be the next card, the world card? The universe is just asking you, is there going to be renewal? Are you going to revive this this um, dying thing or this dead thing? Or are you, you going to let it lay, you know, at rest or let it lay? Let it die and move on. So um, that's what's going on there in love. Let's see what we have for career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. The death card. So something is completely changing for you. You could be going from one, you know, major thing to the next major thing. Um, from being, um, you know, unknown to known or known to unknown. Um going from one job to another, getting a promotion, one, you know, uh, job ending, going to the next one career, jumping from one career to another nine of clubs. It looks like whatever is happening in career and finance, you're getting what it is you want. Something is bringing you a lot of emotional, uh, fulfillment, stability, maybe even luxury, uh, purchasing a luxury item enjoying life's little luxuries being able to do go the moon card there's something working behind the scenes here there's also hidden objective or motive or maybe even hidden enemy you get the knight of swords coming up again this could be you shifting or changing your career field. Psychic, you know, abilities are being heightened right now for you with that nine of cups and that moon card. You could be getting some very vivid dreams. Maybe about what it is, what's to come. What is this? Well, I knew it. Something, is, something big is coming for you, Aries. Um, you got your card, the Lord or the Emperor. And then the Ace of Pentacles. So some opportunity, one that you won't have to chase. It will just present itself to you. But you're going to have to put effort behind this to grow it, to cultivate it, to nurture it. This could be the start of a business, a new job. This could be promotion. This could be a windfall of money coming into you. Good luck. Whatever it is, it puts you in a place of expertise, maybe in your field. I don't know if you're finishing up some study. And then you're moving on or you're going up for a new job. It looks like you will get it. You've done a lot to get yourself here. You could be, this is self-learning or self-taught. This looks really good. It's like, cause this, okay. Yeah. The night, the night of swords and then the ace of pentacles, this is self-taught. It's about self-actualization. So you're really, you know, having that conversation with yourself and you're saying, I actually did it. I actually did this, whatever it is. This could be a large purchase. This could be the beginning, the start of something, of a business, of uh, making another, I don't know, I said another large purchase. So maybe there'll be two large purchases. I don't know. Finishing something up, getting to a level of expertise in your field again where people will revere you, come to you, look at you as the one with the power here. Very nice. This looks really good. 
So this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. If you know that you are starting something here um, and it's going to look and um, you're going to get what you want, put some stars down in the comments section because it looks like it says make a wish. It can very well come true. We have a star here on the Ace of Pentacles card. So put some stars down in the comments section because it looks like something big, monumental is happening for you here. Um, and it's what you've been wanting. It's what you've been working so hard to have, to come into. Um, so congratulations, happy holidays. Do keep in mind that I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also go over to the website, book your own reading there. You can also get um, take the tarot classes with me. The link is below. If you're interested in learning the tarot with me. Um, and if you want to purchase something for the channel, the Amazon wish list is below also. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.